When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. Ropepaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coating solution. This is Bronco Nation News Live. The best interviews, the most informed opinions, the latest breaking news, all from the top Boise State insiders. Now, here's four-time NSMA Idaho Sports Writer of the Year, B.J. Rains, with another edition of Bronco Nation News Live. Well, happy Friday, Boise State fans. B.J. Rains with you. John Mallory here for a rare Friday appearance. Bronco Nation News Live here at BroncoNationNews.com. And, Johnny, uh, we're going to have plenty of time to hang out today. We're going to uh, share the radio waves from 3 to 6, but we thought we'd bring in a little early here for a special interview. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. You said it. Uh, I'm going to get an opportunity to be on BNN with you this morning. You're filling in for Michael Forrest Prater this afternoon on Idaho Sports Talk. So uh, a lot of fun today, BJ. But, yeah, you're right. This interview I'm pumped for, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think Bronco Nation, uh, they're going to love this kid in about 20 minutes. Now, if you're uh, used to hearing Jay Tust here on Fridays, he will be uh, here in about 15 minutes. So uh, we'll kick out Johnny, and we'll bring on Jay at about 9.15 to get back to the football talk ahead of tomorrow's scrimmage. But uh, let's not waste any more of this gentleman's time. Uh, Johnny, we will bring him in. Andrew Meadow, the newest commitment to the Boise State men's basketball team, three-star forward there from West Ranch High down near Los Angeles. Uh, Andrew, really appreciate your time. Congratulations, man. How's it going? Thank you. I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? We're, we're doing great, man. You had uh, Bronco Nation in a buzz yesterday, man, with the uh, yep. commitment. Uh, we actually figured out a way to bootleg the stream during the show. Uh, your really? Instagram oh, feeds. Yeah, so. I saw that on uh, Twitter. <laughs> well, so everybody was excited. Uh, just uh, tell us just a, this about the recruiting process for you and, and how it culminated yesterday and, and your uh, thoughts on committing to the Broncos. Yeah, I mean, the recruiting process was definitely very long. It, I mean, it was definitely hard, stressful, but – I'm very relieved that I found the right place ever since I started talking to Coach Motes and then to Coach Rice and all the coaches now. It just really seemed like the right fit. And when I went up to see campus, I just felt the love from everyone. And it really just seemed perfect for me. What's uh, You had so many different offers. We're seeing your Twitter account where you're putting all this different stuff in there. I mean, uh, how, how, what did it kind of come down to? Who are the, the two or three or four schools you were really focused on? And, and what was it like getting so much interest and so many offers from so many schools? Uh, it came down to the, my top three was uh, Boise State, Pepperdine, and San Francisco. And it felt good just to know that I was recruited by a lot of schools, but it definitely humbled me at the same time and wanted me, made me want to work harder every day and just try to become the best player that I could be. Andrew, again, pleasure to meet you. Excited to talk to you. When you said that Boise State with Coach Motes and then on to Coach Rice, it was just the right fit. What mm -hmm. did that staff do to Andrew Meadow to make sure it was the right fit? What was Leon and those guys doing maybe that other recruits didn't? And uh, what made that the right fit for you? I mean, just just the way they uh, told me about everything. They told me about their offense, how they see me plugged into it. And the offense they kind of run is it fits my game perfectly. It's four interchangeable guards and forwards that could all push the ball. They could all play down low. They could play on the perimeter. And I, I think that's the biggest thing about me is just my versatility. I could play out on the perimeter and down low. So I feel like it just it was just the perfect fit, and I couldn't miss out on the opportunity. So I just took it right away. You know, you've played in the Southern California area. You know, West Ranch, your high school played Sierra Canyon, very popular, well-known high school, Bronny James, and those guys. How'd you do this year, Andrew Meadow, when your team and yourself went up against Brawny and Sierra Cannon? You have a decent game against those guys? Yeah, I, I, I think I played pretty well that game. I finished with 29 points against them. So it was definitely just a great experience to play in front of a lot of people and against a team of that caliber. So, yeah, it was it was a good experience for sure. 
Andrew Meadow, our guest, the newest member of the Boise State men's basketball family, I guess unofficially after committing yesterday, joining us uh, here with John Mallory and B.J. Reigns on uh, KTIK, the ticket, Bronco Nation News. And, uh, Andrew, you know, you're getting a lot of comparisons to Tyson Degenhart, man. Yeah. Uh, I've heard Tyson Degenhart 2.0, and obviously the, the hair, I mean, he had similar hair in high school and stuff before he uh, cut it down a little bit. But the game as well, being kind of 6'7", 6'8", can shoot from the outside, do some different things. Uh, I saw at least in one of the pictures you're uh, at center court with, with coach Rice and Tyson. So what, what, yeah. what's your relationship like with him? How much did they show you what he did last year in terms of your game? And, and uh, are the comparisons fair right now to calling you uh Tyson Degenhart 2.0? Yeah. I mean, I think the comparisons are for sure fair. We, we have similar game. That was one of uh, coach Moat's first things he ever said to me was how my game reminded me of his. And that was a that was something that really stuck with me because of the success that Tyson had last year. And uh, at the elite camp, Tyson was one of my coaches, actually. So it was it was a good experience just to learn from him and start creating a, a relationship with him. You know, Andrew Meadow, I, I got to ask you, you know, my generation or myself, I just love sports movies. And I don't know if anybody's ever thrown this in your direction, but you look like one of the Hanson brothers. Oh, yeah. On the I'm, movie I'm... Slapshot. Have you seen Slapshot? And I cannot be the first person to say, dude, you look like one of the Hanson brothers, right? No, I've I've heard that many, many times. Uh, <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen the movie, but I definitely see all the comments everywhere on social media. You need to get a Hanson Brothers t shirt, kid. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Tell us more about uh, playing with LeBron James' team on the AAU circuit and what that was like, Andrew. And and obviously, it had to be an awesome experience. And I think you said you were hit, you hit a game winner even, and maybe got to you know celebrate with LeBron. Uh, just what's that whole experience like? Did he talk to the team much? Uh, that's a pretty surreal experience, I would imagine, having him around. Yeah, I mean that the whole experience this summer was was definitely amazing. I mean, every game that we played was just packed and pa packed with fans. So being able to play in front of that many people at, before I even get to the college really, I feel like will help me just to not, if I see a lot of people in the crowd, it's not going to phase me. And being able to be coached a little bit by LeBron and see all these uh, NBA players that I looked up to growing up, uh, know who I am and support me really, really means a lot. And it, it made my summer a great experience. Andrew Meadow, West Ranch High School basketball, the newest commit to Leon Rice and this Boise State men's basketball program that just continues to get better and become a bigger deal in this town of Boise. Um, Andrew, what goes into to your style? Because I've, I've seen your clips, obviously now talking to you, and, and the long hair, the James Worthy type of glasses. You, you show personality on the floor, too. What what goes behind that? You as a person mentally that, you know, this is how you want to express yourself on the court. Yeah. I mean, I always try to like, whenever I go onto the court, I try to, I try to calm myself before the game, not try to get too like crazy before the game, like amped up, but calm at the same time, just so I can go in with a, a level head and, and try to just win and help my team win every single game. What would you make of what Boise State did this year, Andrew? Uh, winning the Mountain West regular season, the tournament, uh, going to the big dance, you know, setting a school record, 27 wins. Uh, yeah, I don't know when you first started getting recruited by Boise State, but what would you make of them having, you know, a heck of a year? And, and, and how much did that play into you wanting to be a part of this program, kind of the direction you see it going? Yeah, it definitely, it definitely played a big part. I, I love winning. I love seeing success. So that definitely played a big part in my decision, and I'm excited to – help uh, Boise State win even more when I get there. Andrew, what's the grind like? I mean, it's not just you don't play basketball just for West Ranch High School. You have AAU teams. You might have personal coaches and whatnot. Just the grind of going through the rigors of becoming a scholarship-level player in high school basketball. I mean, what is it like for you divvying up your AAU team and your high school team and then everything else in between. Yeah, I mean, I I love to work. I I work out every day. I try to morning, after school and at night. I just love to be in the gym and I always just want to try to get better each and every day cuz I want to be the best type player I could be and try to make it ultimately to the NBA.
What, what you mentioned your game and stuff, but whether it's you know being a, a stretch guy that can shoot from the outside, uh, how, how do you feel that your game fits Boise State style of offense? I think it just fits perfectly because of the way they play, the way they let the guards be forwards, they let the forwards be guards, and I feel like that's just the perfect situation that I wanted to be in and that I was looking for throughout this recruiting process, and I'm glad I I found it. Andrew Meadow, Boise State basketball's newest commit. I, I read an article. I saw the highlights. Andrew, when you made this announcement yesterday at your high school, I don't know if classes have started for you guys yet. I would imagine they haven't. Have they? Yeah. Are you, guys, you guys are in school already? Yeah, we started on uh, Tuesday. Okay, so early week school. But, like, several hundred of your classmates showed up at that amphitheater on your campus to yeah. watch you make this decision. That tells me, okay, popular kid, a guy who knows his classmates, not just one a basketball player that doesn't talk to anybody. Is that kind of how your personality is, and that's how it will translate to Boise State on the floor, but also off the floor on campus with your peers and your students? I mean, you seem like a really likable guy. Is that in your conscience? Yeah, for sure. I like, I like to uh, make friends with everyone, be friendly, and just – try to be the best person I can on and off the court. So definitely we'll be loving to come see Boise and meet everyone there. Well, Andrew, kind of final thing. What's your message for Bronco nation, man? Uh, you got to, obviously uh, you can't make it official till December, I guess you got another mm -hmm. high school season. I guess what's kind of your mindset now for your senior season and, and uh, counting down the days till you come to Boise and what would be your, your message message for the, the thousands of Boise state fans watching and listening to this, man. I mean, I think I'm just ready for my senior year season, try to make it my biggest season, go out and win a state championship, and then just become the best player I can be. And looking forward to Boise winning this year again, and then when I get there, winning for the third time in a row. Well, hey, Andrew, appreciate your time, man. You got Bronco Nation in a buzz right now, and we appreciate you doing this. And congratulations, and best of luck this year, and I'm sure we'll be catching up with you soon, man. Yep, thank you, and thank you for having me on the show. No problem, man. Again, best of luck. There he is, Andrew uh, Meadow. And uh, Johnny, uh, pretty cool that, uh, you know, he's he's a guy that uh, obviously has, you know, the highlights and pretty impressive. I mean, he, he, his, his hair and his goggles there catch the eye right away. But uh, the guy can ball, man. Yeah, he's got color. I like it, man. He's got the uh, enthusiasm. He's got a personality. And he's got a heck of a basketball resume right now for a kid going into his senior season you know, drops 29 on Sierra Canyon last year, Bronny James's high school team. I mean, that's high-level basketball right there, BJ. And I think, you know, it's not hard. And, you know, in our business, you know, my job is to bring a personality out in, in someone we're going to interview. That wasn't difficult at all. Like, he's his personality wears it on his sleeve, wears it on his head, his glasses. Like, he's going to be fun. Um, if this dude balls, uh, Bronco Nation is going to love that kid, man. And I've had multiple people like, you know, tell me, hey, Tyson Degenhardt 2.0 and maybe even a better shooter. I mean, that's got to be pretty exciting if you saw what Tyson Degenhardt did and you're a Boise State fan, what this guy could do. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, seeing him. And, Johnny, looking forward to this afternoon. You and I will be hosting 3 to 6 today. Uh, we're going to replay this interview on the uh, radio, so that's why you jumped on here today for, for part of the show. So uh, we'll bring Jay Tust on here in a minute and let you go. But uh, appreciate your time this morning, man, and uh, looking forward to 3 to 6, uh, 95.3 FM, 1350 AM, all the ways folks can listen, uh, helping you out this afternoon. Thanks, BJ. Let's do it. There he is, John Mallory, KTIK Radio. And again, Jay Tuss going to join us uh, very shortly as we get back to the football talk here at uh, Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com. Boise State football has the first scrimmage tomorrow, and we're going to uh, talk about that and kind of get our thoughts and Jay's thoughts on what that scrimmage and what's uh, going to happen. We are broadcasting from the Cutwater Canned Cocktail Studios. Make sure to pick up one of their canned cocktails, more than 30 flavors. The mixed drink, it's all right there. There's no need now for the ice, for the uh, mixer, for the soda, for the you know alcohol. They've already done all the work for you. They've mixed it together. My mother-in-law, my wife, both enjoyed the uh, pina coladas last night at dinner. So uh, it, it's a uh, great awesome idea and i love it and they're easy and they're affordable you can go to your local grocery store gas station they're only about uh 350 or so i think you can get two for seven at a lot of places and they're like 13 percent alcohol so you don't need a lot of them but they're awesome they're good and we appreciate uh cutwater canned cocktails for their support here of bronco nation news while we're waiting for jay tuss to jump on want to thank a couple of our other great sponsors lithia ford of boise check them out online lithiafordboise.com i'm actually heading there after the show today with my wife to look at some vehicles as we uh, 
uh, get closer to purchasing a new vehicle from Lithia Ford. So excited about that. You can uh, do all the uh, comparing, shopping, financing, LithiaFordBoise.com. And uh, by the way, they will buy your used vehicle even if you did not purchase it from them. So Lithia Ford Boise, check them out. Idaho Central Credit Union, the sponsor of our road trip coverage. Another great supporter of Bronco Nation News. Uh, they're helping members achieve financial success for over 80 years. You can join the one in four Idahoans and become a member today at iccu.com. Again, over 500,000 members uh, of Idaho Central Credit Union. You can join today again at iccu.com. If you're looking to get into the trucking industry, transportation compliance service, check them out, transcompservice.com. If you want to be an Amazon driver, they can help you fill out the paperwork and get going. Uh, for, or if you want to haul a big 18 wheeler like that, they can help you as well. So if you're looking to get out there and uh, become a truck driver, uh, they can help you with all the permits, all the things you need every step of the way. So check them out, transcompservice.com. Boise Dentistry Co. was there yesterday with Dr. Miner. Both my kids, I'll have to update the picture. Both my kids saw Dr. Miner yesterday, um, even pulled the tooth on uh, my seven-year-old Naismith. So um, check them out, boisedentistryco.com. they got locations across the Treasure Valley, uh, full family dentistry, just great stuff. And uh, if you're looking for a new dentist, I highly, highly recommend Dr. Miner and Boise Dentistry Co. Another company I highly recommend, United Commercial Insurance. We are a client. We have business insurance through them. Um, we uh, are very happy with United Commercial Insurance, whether it's workers' comp insurance, whether it's uh, all the different things that uh, you know they can they can do for you. It's very uh, easy and quick and all done online. So check them out, unitedcommercialinsurance.com. Ridley's Family Markets, Jay Tusk going to be joining us here any minute. We're going to get back to the uh, football talk. Uh, but uh, Ridley's Family Markets, 13 Idaho locations. You can check them out uh, online. And um, great stuff, shopridleys.com. They got the at-home shopping, the Skip app, the home delivery. And, um, you know, we appreciate them. They've been a big supporter of mine even before Bronco Nation News started. So uh, check them out, Ridley's Family Markets. Jay Tuss going to be joining us shortly. If you got any football questions, get those in now. Any football questions, you can get those in now for Jay and I, and we will get those in the queue and get to them. Uh, by the way, if you purchase the flash sale, um, which is still available, uh, Fall Camp 22 is the promo code. If you purchase and ask for the golf round, you can get the golf round. Sent. The golf rounds have been mailed. They were mailed today. So anyone that got the uh, golf round is their free prize. Those have been mailed. And if you have the James, it should be going out hopefully later today. So we appreciate it. Again, we had uh, almost 20 people sign up for the flash sale to take advantage of our offer. So uh, thank you to all of those folks and your prizes or your uh, special gift is uh, on the way. Uh, so that's coming uh, to you. And uh, again, uh, all the interviews, we're going to hear from Jonah Dalmas in a minute. All of our interviews are up on the uh, YouTube page. Just go to uh, YouTube slash Bronco Nation News, youtube.com slash Bronco Nation News, and you can have uh, all access to all of the uh, videos and all of the uh, different things at uh, press conference, practice highlights, all that kind of stuff. Jordan, I'm working on it. Is there an Oregon State Bronco Nation news get-together? I've uh, been talking to two or three different places. Nobody's wanting to uh, – committing to the kind of space we might need. So we may just have to show up randomly at a place and take it over. Um, if nobody wants to work with us officially, um, they either don't have the space or can't guarantee us that they're going to reserve the spot. So we may just have to show up at a place on our own and uh, make our own spot, uh, which is what we might have to end up doing. But uh, we are working on that, Jordan. Um, they uh, apparently the night before the game are expecting a lot of folks. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, but uh, yes, am working on it. Um, had some comments from uh, Andrew. Appreciate him for joining us. Feels like he's ready to be on the court this season. Can't wait till you get here. 54% shooting is insane. Uh, we'll have to see kind of what he does as his, as a, as a senior in high school here, but uh, yes, by all indications, he is uh, Tyson Degenhardt 2.0 from what we've heard and, and even has a little bit of the look there with the uh, hair. Uh, but I know uh, Boise State very excited to get him, and I know Bronco Nation is excited as well. As promised, we bring in Jay Tuss, sports director over at KTVB. We uh, switch from basketball. We'll talk a little football. The first scrimmage is tomorrow. But, Jay, I know uh, – you know, you, you uh, heard the interview. You've uh, talked to Andrew. I mean, uh, you see what this kid has done, his stats, playing on LeBron James' AAU team. I mean, uh, I, you know, I know it's football season. That was, that was a pretty nice get for the Boise State basketball team. John Mallory's texting me right now, so I, I'm a little distracted. Uh, I didn't text him, you know, when you guys were interviewing, you know, Boise State's next, next basketball superstar. But, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll make it through this. I'm just kidding. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, what an exciting gift for, for Leon Rice. I think it's kind of an interesting time to follow recruiting for Boise State basketball just because 
you know, with, with the transfer portal and just the way things are going, um, he it seems like Leon has is, is definitely found his stride with, with how he's going to recruit. Like, he finds a compliment out of the transfer portal every now and then, but he's, he's also, I feel like he's benefiting um, from bigger programs hitting the transfer portal harder, and he's finding some nice high school talent to complement his roster. So uh, definitely a nice gift for him, and they beat out a few Mountain West schools in order to land this guy. No doubt about it, but uh, looking forward to that and uh, appreciate him coming on. He said he had 29 points against Sierra Canyon, LeBron James's kid, and now uh, that uh, certainly had to be a heck of a game there. So uh, he's got another year of high school, though. He's class of 2023, so we'll follow him. And, and that will be interesting moving forward, Jay, to see how teams like Boise State use that uh, recruiting. Uh, you know, you have the transfer portal now. It might be easier just to go pluck guys from other schools, but uh, they went and got the, the high school kid, and, and – uh, We'll, we'll see kind of how they're recruiting yeah. moves forward. No, but. It, it's kind of interesting. I'm assuming that most like really talented basketball players in the class of anywhere from probably 21 to 25, if, if they're really talented, they probably have ran into uh, Bronny James at some point in time, right? But this is also the second basketball commit that has some type of a connection, whether it be playing with or against him, because Sada at, at one point in time, you know, cross pass with, uh, with Bronny James. So that's, that's kind of cool, in my opinion. No doubt about it. Uh, just signed up another person for the free golf. So, uh, again, if you are asking for your golf card, if you didn't email me, please email me if you were a subscriber, and I will get you your golf card or your James gift card. Not all of you uh, sent me your email yet. So if you signed up for the flash sale, please send me your email. I mean, excuse me, not your email, your home address, so I can mail you uh, your free gift card. Let's switch and talk some football, Jay, uh, in the mm-hmm. remaining time that we have here. The first scrimmage is tomorrow. Before we get into the scrimmage, I wanted to start with Jonah Dalmas. We talked to him yesterday. Boise State's kicker and uh, Colin Mitchell uh, wrote a real nice story that our subscribers can read at BroncoNationNews.com. I know you guys had some stuff on the news as well, but uh, enjoyed chatting with him yesterday. Always enjoyed chatting with him. And we're going to hear a clip in a second, but uh, he really is in a unique spot, Jay. We've talked about it, but he's a fan favorite, yet nobody wants to see him unless he's trotting out for the extra point this year. I mean, uh, yeah. if Jonah Dulmas makes 26 field goals again, mm-hmm. this offense and this record is probably not where Boise State fans want to be. And I know it's similar to Tyler Rossa had a big year. The next year mm-hmm. only went 9 of 13, didn't have as many chances, which was actually better for the team. Um, but uh, it, it's a unique situation. You lead the nation in field goals, but uh, your fans don't want to see you as much this year. Yeah. I, I, why is everybody making a big deal of this, BJ? Like, shouldn't we be attacking the fact that, hey, Jonah can make 26 field goals, they can score more touchdowns if they never punt? Do we want to see James Ferguson Reynolds out there doing his thing, though? <laughs> we actually want to see the punter once in a while this year. Right. Hey, Jonah's always been kind of savvy with the media. He's, he's definitely a mature guy. Uh, I thought it was funny yesterday how he approached that question. He knew it was coming. You felt like it. And he was like, hey, if we score more touchdowns, I have no problem seeing the field a little less this fall. I bet you there's a competitive fire deep down inside him that burns somewhere that's like, no, I want to attempt 50 field goals. But um, at the betterment of the team, he said the right thing. And, you know, in all honesty, he's, he's right. They, they do need to kick less field goals this year. They need to do, uh, do a better job of, of finding the red zone. They're very, very mediocre last year. And I would say below standards for Boise State when it came to touchdown percentage inside the red zone because of Jonah they were one of the top scoring offenses in the red zone meaning like the, the, the percentage that you convert uh, points when you when you get inside the 20 but their touchdown percentage was just way too low last year you want it to be up around 70 percent it was down near 50. Here's Jonah Dalmas talking about uh, his outlook for the season and and uh, you know what he hopes to accomplish this year. Same mentality you know I'm going out there to to, to support my brothers get points on the board if we need it um, obviously, we want that approach to be more on the offense to get more touchdowns in the end zone. But um, if I'm needed, I'll go out and execute and do the same thing that I've been doing. Is it kind of unique where everybody loves you, but they don't want to see you on the field as much? I mean, yeah. They, when you're out there, it means they didn't score a touchdown, I guess. Yeah, no, totally. And um, that's just how the game plays out, you know. Um, obviously, people are saying we don't want me on the field more, and I'm perfectly okay with that. If we can get touchdowns and get more points on the board, that's just what we want to do, and that's our plan, that's our mission. Um, but like I said, when it's my time to execute, I'll go out and help my brothers and, and the coaching staff and, and all the Boise State fans. Every kick, every kick, every single rep that I have, I treat it like a game. I'm making sure that I'm going out and having that game set mentality just to go out and execute the play and do it for my brothers. We've heard kickoffs. It's like competition between Will Farron and I. I practice, he's, he's starting kickoff right now, but this is what's awesome about fall camp is like, 
I mean, even in field goals, field goals, Will Fern gives me good competition and, and kickoff, it's always competition. So this is what makes uh, fall camp fun is we're always competing with each other. Yeah. Absolutely. I think everybody's dream is to go to the next level. Um, but what I'm focused on right now is, is getting a Mountain West Championship ring. We made it to one my freshman year. We didn't come up with the, the W, and so our main focus is just to, to climb to the top and get that ring and, and bring home that, that trophy. I talked about this with Mike Prater yesterday, Jay, but it does seem like I don't know if Andy Avalos is telling them to say this or if it's Craig Lawson and Sarah or if it's just – the mentality this year, but we've asked multiple guys about personal goals, personal uh, things. And I can think of, you know, JL Skinner for sure. Um, maybe it was Hank Bachmeyer the other day. There, there's been a Hank couple Bachmeyer of them. Did Hank did it multiple times. In the and it, just seem, it just seems like most of these guys are deflecting and it seems like getting another ring. Uh, who was it yesterday? One of the players, it was either uh, Steph, Cobb, sure, Steph Cobb said it two days ago. I know for sure. Uh, we can go down the line. They all probably said it, but it seems like there's much more talk this year, Jay, on getting that ring and winning the championship whenever there's a question asked to, to somebody about his, you know, personal goals or season. And, and they've been vocal about it, right? Like that they, I mean, it's kind of, if I'm a Boise state fan, it would probably fire me up to hear Steph Cobb say, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm chasing a ring this year. You know, like, um, they, they have thrown it out there that their goal is the mountain West. And, you know, uh, the Mountain West Championship. And, you know, w one thing that I, I kind of uh, appreciate about that is, in, in having that confidence and putting it out there the way that they have so far is that, you know, for, for so long, Boise State has tried to embrace like the underdog chip on their shoulder. We do more with, with less mentality. And, and that's fine. I, I get how that feeds into their blue collar mindset. I, I get it. But when you are the, the second winningest program or for a long time, the winningest program over the last, you know, 20 some odd years. Like you're, you're not the underdog. You are the big dog. You come through us, you know? And so that's what I like the fact that they're throwing it all out there right now. Like, no, our expectation is a ring. We're going to talk about that. We're going to let everybody know we want to win a Mountain West championship this year. So I, I, I think it's pretty awesome. Yep. No, I totally agree. And I, I want to get your brief thoughts on the scrimmage, Jay. But first, yeah. I have a couple more sponsors. I want to thank the Blue and Orange Store, the blueandorangestore.com. Check them out if you're in Boise at the Town Square Mall there. If you're not in Boise, uh, you need that gear for the Oregon State game, any of the road games this year, you can go online, the blueandorangestore.com, and you get uh, free shipping for any order over $40. So free shipping any order over $40. They got all the new, uh, you know, Nike gear, the coaches sideline apparel. What's the color, Jay? Do we know the color for the, for the fans for the Oregon state game? It's probably not orange considering uh, Oregon state uh, is orange. Uh, it's either blue yeah. or white, I would assume, but uh, either way, check out their website, bad hosting on my part to, to ask a question. I don't know the answer to. <laughs> but uh, you can check it out. And uh, the blue and orange store, I promise you will have uh, gear that color at the blueandorangestore.com. Matt Bauscher, Bauscher Real Estate, speaking of basketball, uh, the number one ranked realtor in the Treasure Valley, BauscherRealEstate.com. You can check him out. No home is too big or too small. He'd love to have your business, and uh, he's a you know, big supporter at Boise State. You can uh, return the favor, support him next time you're looking to buy or sell your next home, BauscherRealEstate.com. Timberstone Golf Course, great time still. The weather's starting to cool down just a little bit here pretty soon, hopefully, kind of, maybe not, but uh, get out there, play some golf. Great course, great greens. Love Timberstone, and uh, check it out. So you can book your tea time, playtimberstone.com. And last but not least, we still have that special with Westside Pizza going. BNN25 is the promo code. BNN25. You get 25% off your entire order at westsidepizza.com. They have a large carryout special for $10. You throw in the promo code. It's $7.50 to get a large pizza. You're talking about feeding a family, you know, two large pizzas for $15. So check them out. Support Westside Pizza. Support Bronco Nation News. You can do it online. Again, BNN25 is the promo code uh, to help out uh, Bronco Nation News and Westside Pizza. Jay, uh, the scrimmage is tomorrow. Uh, it's closed. We're going to mm -hmm. talk to Andy Avalos afterwards. By the way, we were supposed to have practice and interviews today. They changed up the schedule, and they're doing kind of a walkthrough, kind of a practice game type thing. So tomorrow, all the freshmen and everybody aren't not knowing what's going on. So they're, they're having a, a – Walk through for the walkthrough, I guess, tomorrow for the, for the scrimmage, uh, you know, when they're going to you know, practice a game uh, set up tomorrow. Um, but uh, so we won't get to see it, but we'll talk to Andy Avalos afterwards. What um, I guess what 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 do you think starts to get shaken out in this scrimmage? What do you want to hear from Andy Avalos afterwards? It's usually this, you know, the second scrimmage. It's kind of the final one. 
but the first scrimmage, you know, you're, you're 10, 12 days into fall camp now. I think you start to, you know, a guy could really help himself or hurt himself on that pecking order with how he plays tomorrow. Yeah, you'll have a guy like George Halani who will be placed in bubble wrapped and probably told not to do much. Uh, and then you'll have other guys that are, are fighting for – uh, maybe they're one and only opportunity to start for a college football team. Guys like DJ Schramm, who we spoke with yesterday, uh, Brandon Hawkins, we talked with him earlier in the week. Isaiah Banya, trying to work his way into that, um, you know, weak side linebacker starting role as well. So, I mean, there, there's a, there's plenty of competition going on right now over at that Boise State football facility. And, and this first scrimmage will be, it, it, it won't be the definitive decision maker in, in who wins a job, but it could certainly serve as a separator of, of who, okay, going into the second and maybe even a third scrimmage is atop that depth chart. And now all of it, all of a sudden has pole position going into, you know, the, the season opening week against Oregon State. So, you know, it, it, it's closed to us. We won't really know. And in all honesty, it's been a little difficult to, to really decipher a ton of the position battles from what we've seen so far at, at, fall, at fall camp. But, um, you know, inside – inside the football facility, inside those walls, there's certainly some heated competition for sure. I was going to ask you about that. If you've been able to dissect for anything from the coaches before camp started, yeah. some of the players talking about what they've seen, what we've seen. Uh, is it, is there any battles that you feel like you're starting to feel a little more comfortable with uh, looking at? Or, I mean, it I, I seems like there is still some unknown. There, there still is some known. I don't think that, um, you know, Ashton Genty, this isn't lip service. He's He is going to contribute to this this team this fall um and i and even what the coaches have said that that's not a surprise to anybody but you know just kind of watching whether it be spring camp or fall camp um he is going to make some type of impact on this roster uh yeah you know he's not going to be the the 20 carry guy as long as george halani's healthy but ashton genty certainly seems like he's going to play a role tyler crow looks good in the backfield um and i guess if if anything I'll, i'll look at that offensive line which we addressed a little bit earlier this week bj that unit, like I think the starting five right now is very, very predictable. And um, there are two guys on the outside of that competition probably trying to push and make it interesting to offer versatility to that, to that line. But given their versatility, they seem like if something happens, that's when they get, they get plugged in. The starting five, I feel like, is really coming together up front. Yeah, I think that Will linebacker spot is still up for grabs. I mean, a lot of people yeah. just assumed Banya was going to start there if they're moving him there, but it sounds like she, whether it's Shram, mm-hmm. whether it's Banya, whether it's Brandon Hawkins, I mean, it seems like that's still some sort of a battle. The punter battle, at least publicly, we haven't heard a, a leader or a winner at punter. Uh, mm-hmm. At corner, I mean, we feel pretty good about Caleb Biggers, I think, getting one of the spots, especially since oh, yeah. they made him, made him available to the media this week. But, you know, I, I think Markel Reed's going to be the second guy. I mean, we were out there the other day. He had a really nice pass breakup in one of the team drills. But I'm not ready to, to, to call that yet because mm-hmm. we just haven't seen enough or heard enough. But I think I would go with Markel Reed there. You mentioned the O-line. Yeah, I feel very good about, you know, unfortunately, Will Farah probably being the odd man out at this point uh, with Curran and Dooley being the guards. You mentioned the running back room. I still think receiver – I still think that, you know, two through six at receiver, two through five, we think we know, but we, we you know, there's still yeah. a lot to shake out there uh, behind Steph Cobbs. And, I, you know, maybe, I don't know, if we're, I guess we're almost ready to put Davis Cutter at number two, but that three through five probably, and I'll, I'll put Cutter in there, you know, two through five, I think is still a lot to figure out. Um, you know, whether Cobbs is quote unquote the number one, I think we all agree he'll be starting. Uh, mm-hmm. we can at least say that. So there's some battle at receiver. Yeah. Um, the, the depth chart at D line, I guess, uh, you still need to figure out uh, some of you know, some of that stuff. I mean, there's mm-hmm. there, we're, we're getting a little bit closer, but there's still a lot out there that uh, the next 22 days are going to have to figure out, at least for us. Yeah. I think you feel confident that Dimitri Washington is going to be the, that starting stud, but you know, who, who does start at that defensive end pos- position? Um, you got a couple of op- options. I'm sure Cortez Hogan's is in the mix. George Tarlis. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see who kind of emerges over there. I'll touch on the tight ends really quick, just because we had like a, a different view of practice yesterday with it being on the blue, got a little closer to that group. I don't know if I realize this, BJ, but they have nine tight ends on the roster now. That's, that, that seems like a lot. Yeah. And um, they're loaded up top with, with experience with Ty Neal Hopper, Kurt Raftall, and obviously Riley Smith. Got some intriguing pieces below them. I'm interested to see how a guy like Matt Lauder can come along. When's Russell Corrigan, you know, going to start to, uh, you know, make a turn and, and obviously make an impact on this team. The good thing about tight ends is they're like linebackers. Uh, they have a versatile skill set that they can really contribute on special teams, not just on defense or, or on offense in this case. 
So, um, yeah, in, interested to see how that group kind of continues to develop and come along. And, and Nate, Nate Potter coaches his butt off during practice. I got to say, it was fun to watch him go to work the other day. No doubt about it. Fun to be out on the blue as well. And, again, I don't know if this was – as we wrap this up, I mean, I don't know if uh, – I don't want to think – I said it to Prater yesterday. I don't want to think it was this simple. But the day before, the, the stat comes out that Boise State plays all their games on turf, and literally the next day they practice on turf and say we may never practice on grass again. It was it like literally as simple as going, wait a minute, why are we practicing on grass if we don't plan again? I, you have to think they had this planned and, and – you know, but it just was cooler. Very interesting timing. Very interesting yeah. timing, though, that the stat comes out and the next day they say, yeah, we're probably done practicing on the grass now moving yeah. forward. But, uh, by the way, uh, Jay, uh, Johnny Ballgame returning the, the shot here at you. I only texted Jay to remind him the dude shows up four minutes late for his hit. Yeah, well, that's okay, Johnny, because I was out serving our uh, good high school community this morning up 7 a.m. shooting a high school football preview. I'm sure you were uh, still still getting sleep out of your eyes, my man. So we were lucky to get Johnny out yeah. in the studio yeah, by nine. I was on the desk. I was at KTVB till about 11.30 last night, so – yeah, no one can pull in a few different directions right now. Johnny Mallory trying to call out Jay Tuss for a work ethic and a uh, is is very. Uh, I love right, that. Guy. What's, what's the right word? Yeah, we we actually had this discussion. Didn't we have this discussion yesterday? Waiting for players yeah, about uh, radio I'll versus TV. Uh, I give it to him. He gives it back to me. And, and <laughs> I love that. You you came on the exact you came on the exact time I asked you for so appreciate it sorry to flip the squ- schedule today but I got to fill in with uh, Johnny on the radio and we wanted yeah. to didn't want to make uh, Andrew Meadow do two interviews so we thought we'd uh, you know kill two birds with one stone and it worked out so uh, we saw the Eagle Mustangs as your prep preview last night uh, what do we got what were we Dirty right Warriors man okay. yeah, the, the program's been building they're trying to put a number on the, the press box they haven't done it since 2017 and by number I mean state title uh, reminder so. Um, they got some good guys over there. Nathan Reynolds, good linebacker. Yeah, they, they got some talent. So we'll Check be, out uh, we'll be checking that out. We'll be checking that out tonight on yeah. KTVB. And then uh, Andy Avalos tomorrow, we'll have that covered as well. Jay, appreciate your time. Folks, if you had some comments here, sorry we didn't get to them. Kind of a weird show today. But uh, appreciate everybody. Obviously, if there's breaking news, we'll be back. Otherwise, we'll be back with Andy Avalos tomorrow and then uh, Monday. And Jay, I guess as of now, we'll see you next Tuesday. But uh, appreciate your time, man. Sounds good, bud. There he is, Jay Tuss, Sports Director, KTVB. Appreciate all of you guys for checking us out. Have a great day. Speaking of Riley Smith, here's his newest commercial with Lithia. We'll talk to you later. Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com. Ooh, the gym. Mold stomping grounds. <laughs> Hank Patterson, fly fishing guide. Riley Smith, tight end. Yeah, I appreciate that. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be the kicker. No, tight end. Again, thank you. I'm looking for a kicker for Lithia Ford's fall kickoff sale. But you're not the kicker. No. Yeah. Now, the kicker's probably taller and in a lot better shape. So, okay. What uh, position do you play? Tight end. Squats. Yeah. Try it sometime. At ICCU, to make a difference, it takes just one connection. A friendly face. An open ear. A helping hand. And then something amazing happens. We find out that we're better together. This is what Idaho Central does in our communities every day. We help our members with the small things and big dreams. This is what believing in you is all about. Idaho Central Credit Union, looking after your daily balance.